two astronauts are back on Earth after an unexpected and long nine-month stay on board the International Space Station. They're now in Houston being reunited with their families. Karen Hua shows us the long-awaited return. A Houston homecoming. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams reunited with loved ones hours after their return from a 286-day space odyssey. Splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. The SpaceX Dragon carrying Wilmore and Williams, along with Crew 9 Commander Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at just before 6 p.m. yesterday. Some happy waves, smiles all around. A pod of dolphins swam nearby as the recovery team pulled the capsule out of the water and later assisted the four crew members as they climbed out. In Williams' hometown in Massachusetts, residents gathered to root for her return. We all kind of feel relieved that she's, like, safe. Wilmore and Williams are expecting to spend at least a day or two more here at the Johnson Space Center as medical staff evaluate them, making sure they're readjusting to the pull of gravity back here on Earth. Ignition. The two astronauts launched on the first human test flight of the Boeing Starliner in June of last year. But the vessel developed propulsion problems and for safety reasons returned to Earth without them, stretching their planned eight day mission to nine months. It was a SpaceX vessel that finally brought them home after it carried their replacements to the ISS. And it shows the benefits of the commercial public private partnership that we have. During their extended mission, Williams set a spacewalk record for women astronauts. NASA says she and Wilmore also conducted more than 150 experiments. Karen Hua, CBS News, Houston. NASA officials say the experiments they conducted included using stem cell technology to potentially address blood diseases, autoimmune disorders, and cancers.